Well, howdy everyone, and welcome back to another weekend episode of Cook with Mary Sue. Before we begin, I always like to remind everybody to hit the like and subscribe down at the bottom and the share buttons. And down there you'll find other links to my other channels that I do, and a link to my eBay store. I love selling on eBay. And a link to my book website. Yes, I wrote this little book here a little over a year ago. You can see the title there. You can find the book on Amazon, eBay, Barnes & Noble, and iTunes. If you go to the book website, it's called AnimalsLiftOurSpirits.com. On that website, it will tell you about me, it will tell you about the book, and there will be a little button that takes you right to Amazon. How easy can that be? Very easy. Okay, today, I'm working on a nice pot of chicken taco soup. Now, I know last year, I made another recipe that was beef taco soup, but this time, I'm going to try it with chicken. As you know by now, I love to change my recipes up, uh, kind of invent new ones and change them around. I usually don't cook the same thing twice. And last night, I made a batch, a fresh batch of my cheesy cornbread. And I've got it in the freezer to go with this taco soup today. My husband loves taco soup. Now, most of the time I cook soups and stews in the wintertime when it's cold and chilly. You want something nice and hot. But he loves chili and taco soup any time of the year. Doesn't matter the weather. Doesn't matter if it's hot, cold, or whatever. He just loves it. So I decided to make a, a nice new batch of chicken taco soup. Now, let's get started. To make this recipe about as simple as I could and easy and quick, I started out with, you see it right here on my label, thin sliced boneless skinless chicken breast fillets. They're very thin, and don't have to, I don't have to debone them or anything like that. All I gotta do is heat them up, cook them, and, and you can either shred it or dice it. I think I would dice mine in small bites instead of shredding it. And I'm cooking them in a pot, I'm gonna make the soup. I like one pot meal, so, I just have some clean up later, less stuff to clean up and wash. Now, I had these started just a little while ago, but I wanted to show you what I'm using. I turn these back on medium low. They're almost done. They're quick to they're quick to cook because they're very thin. Yeah, I'm just gonna cook these just a little bit more, and then I will dice them up. I have four in the pot, just four little ones. You can see them there. And like I said, they cook fast because they're thin. You got, another good idea is to use rotisserie chicken that's already cooked and it's got a little flavor to it. That would be really good. I might do that on my next video one time. I like to buy rotisserie chicken once in a while. Make some chicken salad with it or some type of soup with it. But I had these in the freezer, so I went ahead and used these. Thin sliced, boneless, skinless chicken breast fillets. While these finish cooking, I'll show you some of my ingredients here. I'm using two cans of pinto beans. I'm not going to drain them. You can use any type of bean you like. Kidney beans, chili beans, pinto beans. Uh, there's another one, kidney beans. All those would do well. I'm going to start off with just two cans of chicken broth for now. Once I make it and it looks like I might need a little more soup to it, make it a little bigger quantity, I may add another can. But I'm going to start with two right now because I've also got the juice that's in the beans. To make it a little spicy, I'm going to add a can of Rotel. Now, I know my husband's kind of limited on tomatoes, but he'll pick some of those out. But I need the flavor of that Rotel to make it really hot and spicy. He loves hot and spicy stuff. Not so much me, but he does. I've got a can, uh, not a can, <laughs> a package of taco mix here I'm going to use. And I've got a package of ranch mix. mix. And just I took a little bit of my diced onion out of the freezer. The onion, you can use as much onion or as little as you want. Once I get through with all this, and I get ready to serve it, on top of it, I'm going to uh, garnish it with this tricolor tortilla strips and a little bit of sliced back black olives. But we'll fool with these later once I get in the bowl. Right now, we got to finish cooking it. These are sizzling. They're almost done. A few more seconds, they'll be done. I'm going to take them out and dice them up really small. As you can see, I went ahead and diced up my chicken. It's done. It's getting a little bit more brown. Uh-huh. Do you know yeah. what's bringing you in here? Yes. <laughs> what are you cooking? You can smell me cooking a mile away. Well, it's supposed to be your surprise supper. Chicken taco soup. Since you love chicken uh, taco soup so much, 
I'm making chicken this time instead of beef because I don't like to, I get bored making the same thing over and over. I like to change it up, you know. That's about done there. I'm going to add my chicken broth and ranch mix, taco mix, onions, with tail. That look like it's going to be hot enough for you? Probably. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with two cans of chicken broth. I may need some more. We'll find out if I do. I always keep a lot of chicken broth on hand. I'm not going to drain the beans. You know, it's pinto beans best if I'm using pinto. You could use kidney beans or uh, black beans. Now, you, most people right now would add... You definitely should add a can of corn, but I'm not going to add corn right now at all because he can't eat corn. But this wood require some corn in it. I'll have corn. Go ahead. I'll have corn listed in the uh, description down below when I write the recipe up. I got my little spoons. I don't leave any in there. Oh, yeah. That's a bunch down there. They get stuck down there. I have to kind of dig them out. There. Whoop. One more bean. There. <laughs> uh, Dump, dump, dump. With chilies, and this is mild though. I've got the, yeah, I used to get the mild. Smells good. I know, you love that smell. He loves hot food. I don't think the two cans of chicken moss will be enough. I don't think I need any more. But I need, oh, okay, dump the onions. We've got a little bit of red onion in there. Just a little dab. Now I'm ready for the mix. Here's the taco mix. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> Just want to stir this till it mixes up pretty good. When I give give this to you in a bowl, I'm gonna put some uh, some of tricolor <laughs> tortilla strips on top and some little dice or sliced olives, black olives on top. If you like olives. I don't, but he okay. does. Is that a full uh, packet? Yes, it is. Uh huh. A full okay. packet. Now, I'm going to use that full packet in this. Actually, I had, I had two halves I put together. When he makes taco soup, sometimes he uses half a pack. Well, I found two halves back in the cabinet. I put them together, and guess what? Half a half makes one. <laughs> Let me get my counter later. <laughs> I may need scissors with this. See, I got some scissors over there. This isn't opening up too easy like it should. Ah, can't get that one to open. Yep. Now, let's keep me some handy scissors here. There, that worked out fine. There you go. You can put those back, sir. There, whole pack of ranch. And I said... Uh, most people, you would add canned corn to this. Most all taco soup has corn in it. I don't think I need anything else to do. I got beans in it, chicken, potato. I'm gonna let this simmer for a little while, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Let all the spices get together, maybe half hour. Just let it simmer a while. I'll check it, and we'll come see how it looks in a few minutes. As you see, I'm letting this bubble for a little bit, about 10 minutes or so, maybe a little longer. Get all those flavors mixed together good. And I've got a lid. I put a lid on it. Let it simmer for about 10 minutes. The more you can contain those flavors, the better. And I think I may even add in the, when I throw it in the bowl or a cup, I may just put a little dab of cheese on top. Some Monterey Jack. I'm ready to show you exactly how I'm going to serve this tonight, which won't be too long. Oh, it smells so delicious. Why can't somebody invent smell a vision? <laughs> that would be so fantastic. Get a little bit of everything in my, yeah, there's some chicken, some beans, a little bit of everything. A little tail. I want a little bit of the soup in there. A little bit more. There. Look at that. You can see the steam coming from it, at least I can. I don't know if you can tell. There. Nice big bowl of that hot soup. Now, 
I'm going to put a few of these sliced olives on top. Oh, just a few. There. Okay. Will be my tricolor strips. There. And then those, kind of like croutons. And some Kobe and Jack cheese right on top. What doesn't cheese go with? I have not eaten any cheese doesn't go with yet. And there you have it. Nice hot salmon bowl of chicken taco soup. Wish y'all could have some with me, but if you try this, let me know. See how y'all like it. it. Smells wonderful, but don't forget the corn. Add corn to yours if you like to. You should have corn in this. Okay, that's it. We're ready to call it a day. There you have it. Another about nice hot bowl of chicken taco soup. Enjoy. Oh, I love the smell. I, I love smelling hot stuff. I just can't eat it. It bothers me. My stomach doesn't like it. But I do love to cook it, and my husband loves to eat it. And he loves to eat about anything I cook, which I'm glad. He likes to test anything I cook, too. That's great. He's very good about that. So, he will enjoy this tonight. I'll open me a can of soup, probably, tonight, where he enjoys this. And I'll probably freeze half of this for later for him. That's a pretty big pot for him to finish in a few days, so I'll probably freeze half of it. He has some next month then with the cornbread in the freezer. Bye. Bye for now, y'all. See you next week. God bless and love everybody. Bye.